Pokemon are terrifying creatures, at least according to Professor Laventon. This is proven true a few moments later when we see a red-eyed Pokemon attacking the player. Thanks to the most recent trailer, we now know these red-eyed Pokemon are called Alphas. An Alpha is defined by Merriam-Webster as socially dominant, especially in a group of animals. Most people assume that an Alpha fought its way into its position. While in some cases that might be true, it's also possible that it might have simply mated and produced offspring and created its own group. We see many different Pokemon and Legends Arceus living in groups with similar species. But back to the Alphas. According to the Legends Arceus website, Alphas are larger than normal and have glowing red eyes. In this clip from the third trailer, we can see an Alpha Electrovire standing next to its pre-evolution, Electabuzz. Its red eyes and size definitely mark it as an Alpha. Electivire here is massive, and it appears to be almost three times larger than Electabuzz. So, I opened Pokemon Home, and I compared the sizes of both Electabuzz and Electivire. Electabuzz is 3 feet 7 inches tall, and Electivire is normally 5 feet 11 inches tall. We can see in this image that the Electabuzz comes up to Electivire's shoulder, and in the trailer, it comes up to its leg. They aren't exactly right next to each other, however. I tried to figure out its exact height anyways, though. After some fiddling around on Pokemon Home, I found out that the Alpha Electrovire is around 8 feet tall. Ursaring also seems to be around 2 to 3 feet taller in this image as well. So from now on, we'll look at all Alpha Pokemon as being around 2 to 3 feet taller than other normal members of their species. So far, we have seen a handful of these Alpha Pokemon. Luxray, Gyarados, and Ursaring were featured heavily in the second trailer. Drapion, Garchomp, Probopass, and Tangrowth were also seen in this trailer, but they weren't as heavily featured. Electivire was featured in the third trailer, and Honchkrow was seen on the Legends Arceus website. I think something that is important to notice is that out of all of these alpha Pokemon, only Probopass and Electivire are surrounded by their pre-evolutions. All other alphas are seen by themselves, which leads us to the next bit of information revealed about alphas. Alphas will chase you down and attack you when they notice you. These Pokemon are more aggressive than others. We see a Luxio attack the player, but its attack is nowhere near as aggressive as these Alpha Pokemon. Some Noble Pokemon appear to also attack the player, but that's a topic for another video. Perhaps fighting an Alpha with their pack is a massive mistake. With all of these Pokemon potentially attacking you at once, it's an easy way to die. Uh, sorry. Blackout. We don't see other Pokemon attacking the player at the same time as these Alphas, but I'm going to assume that it is a possibility. A viable strategy to hunting these Alpha Pokemon might be to draw their attention and then lead them away from their pack, since it seems that they will chase you. If this is the case, separating them from their pack and fighting them when they are alone might be the best option. Based on the trailers, there seems to be three different stages to battling these Alpha Pokemon as showcased in the trailer. The first one is avoiding their attacks, and perhaps getting them isolated. Dodging the attacks is seen when fighting practically all the alphas mentioned earlier. 2. Battle time. We see the player battle four of the alpha Pokemon, Luxray, Gyarados, Ursaring, and Tangrowth. This seems to be pretty straightforward, however, I would like to point out that Honchkrow is seen with Agile Strike in its image on the website. Perhaps these Pokemon are able to utilize the strong and agile strikes. If this is the case, strike hard and use strong Pokemon. 3. Catching them. At first, I thought you couldn't catch these alpha Pokemon on my first watch of the trailer. I thought they were similar to the tough looking Pokemon from the Gala region. Pokemon you could fight, but were too strong to catch. However, you can catch these Pokemon as seen from several different clips in the trailer. The website also mentions they may even drop rare items if you defeat them in battle. If these Pokemon respawn, which most likely they will, catching one for your Pokedex and then defeating it several times for rare items might be a good idea. We don't currently know what these rare items are, but I'm assuming they will be items that can either be sold for a high price, used in crafting recipes, or give to NPCs after they give you a mission. It's my personal opinion that the purpose of Alpha Pokemon is to make it difficult to explore specific areas, and if you catch them or defeat them, it becomes easier to explore and catch other Pokemon. I think this is a great system for this game, and I can't wait to see what other things Legends Arceus has in store for us. 
What do you think of these alpha Pokemon? Let me know in the comments below. Anyways, thanks for watching. See you next time. Peace.